Well, good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Wednesday, the 19th of June. Um, really good to have you with me, as always, um, as um, we follow our morning prayer that you can find in the link provided or on the Daily Prayer app. Um, today we are remembering uh, Sundar Singh of India, um, Sadhu, holy man and evangelist, teacher of the faith from the 20th century. Um, and we're also praying for Bishop's Council that meets today. Um, so uh, I don't know what's on their agenda, um, way above my pay scale, uh, but we'll be pleased to pray for them uh, as they meet together. We're also praying um, very much today for um, the friends and family of uh, Eileen Hartland, whose funeral takes place um, at uh, Taunton Creme this afternoon at two o'clock. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will. That the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 77. I cry aloud to God. I cry aloud to God and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I have sought the Lord. By night, my hand is stretched out and does not tire. My soul refuses comfort. I think upon God and I groan. I ponder and my spirit faints. You will not let my eyelids close. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old. I remember the years long past. I commune with my heart in the night. My spirit searches for understanding. Will the Lord cast us off forever? Will he no more show us his favour? Has his loving mercy clean gone forever? Has his promise come to an end forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he shut up his compassion in displeasure? And I said, my grief is this, that the right hand of the Most High has lost its strength. I will remember the works of the Lord and call to mind your wonders of old time. I will meditate on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God as our God? You are the God who worked wonders and declared your power among the peoples. With a mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you and were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water, the skies thundered, your arrows flashed on every side. The voice of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lit up the ground, the earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea and your paths in the great waters, but your footsteps were not known. You led your people like sheep by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Luke chapter 16, verses 1 to 18. Jesus said to the disciples, there was a rich man who had a manager and charges were brought to him that this man was squandering his property. So he summoned him and said to him, what is this I hear about you? Give me an account of your management, because you cannot be my manager any longer. Then the manager said to himself, what will I do now, now that my master is taking the position away from me? I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I have decided what to do. That when I am dismissed as manager, people may welcome me into their homes. So summoning his master's debtors one by one, he asked the first, how much do you owe my master? He answered, a hundred jugs of olive oil. He said to him, take your bill, sit down quickly and make it 50. 
And he said to another, and how much do you owe? He replied, a hundred containers of wheat. He said to him, take your bill and make it eighty. And his master commended the dishonest manager because he had acted shrewdly. The children of this age are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than are the generation of light. And I tell you, make friends for yourselves by means of dishonest wealth, so that when it is gone, they may welcome you into their eternal homes. Whoever is faithful in very little is faithful also in much, and whoever is dishonest in very little is dishonest also in much. If then you have not been faithful with the dishonest wealth, who will entrust you the true riches? And if you have not been faithful with what belongs to another, who will give you what is your own? No slave can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. The Pharisees, who were lovers of money, heard all this, and they ridiculed him. So he said to them, You are those who justify yourselves in the sight of others, but God knows your hearts. For what is prized by human beings is an abomination in the sight of God. The law and the prophets were in effect until John came. Since then, the good news of the kingdom of God is proclaimed, and everyone tries to enter it by force. But it is easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for one stroke of a letter in the law to be dropped. Anyone who divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery, and whoever marries a woman divorced from her husband commits adultery. And so let's turn to our prayers of intercession. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, for Jesus' teaching on, on finance and our love of money. And the warning that we can't have two masters. So, Lord, in all of our dealings, help us to be honest and faithful. Lord, we thank you for our finances, for the resources that they bring to us. But, Lord, help us to remember that they are but just that, resources to be used in your kingdom. And Lord, we thank you for, for the many people who do support our churches financially, without which we would not be able to function. Thank you, Lord, for the people who give so generously and voluntarily. And Lord, we trust and pray that we, as PCCs, as a church, will use those resources wisely. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, at the same time, we pray for our diocese here in Bath and Wells, like many other dioceses, experiencing serious financial challenges at the moment, a deficit of some million pounds last year. So, Lord, we do pray for those responsible for our budgets and our finances and we do pray that your holy spirit will lead and guide them and lord we do pray for the meeting today of the bishop's council thanking you for all who are part of that group and lord i pray that you would be with them your Holy Spirit will lead and guide them today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we're asked to pray today for uh, social services. So Lord, we thank you for all who work within that sector, for the support provided to so many people often in acute need. We're asked to pray for those who work in the criminal justice system. So we thank you for our courts and probation services and prisons. 
Thank you for the relatively new uh, chaplains to our courts here in Taunton, making well, making a great difference uh, by all accounts to uh, the life of that establishment. So Lord, we do thank you for their calling and we pray that your Holy Spirit would continue to work in them and through them. And Lord, we're asked to pray for victims and perpetrators of crime. We thank you that here in Taunton, in relative terms, we're, we're free of major crime. And yet we know that still it's all around us. So, Lord, we do pray for our police services, for our PCSOs, Lindsay and Alex and Bernard. Lord, we thank you for all the work that they do to promote peace and community harmony. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we're asked to pray for aid agencies around the world. As we witness in our news even today, the uh, ghastly conditions that some people are living in at the moment in uh, Gaza, the inhumane uh, scenarios that people are suffering, no doubt repeated in other places across the world. So we thank you for organisations who reach out to support those in desperate need. And Lord, we do pray that you would protect them and enable them to reach out and love and support. But Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, as we pray for a general election coming up soon and continue to ask simply that your will be done in the decisions that need to be made, so we pray for our leaders, both current and future, that they would watch out for the lost and the last and the least, for those experiencing poverty and oppression of any kind, that they would be released and looked after. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those individuals we know who are suffering at this time, those who are sick in body, mind or spirit, included among them Barbara and Barbara, Ivy and Gerald, Ian and Kate, Hannah and Daniel. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit would draw alongside each and every one of them today, as well as those perhaps who are suffering quietly that we don't know about. And Lord, we pray too for those who grieve, the friends and families of Wesley Wyatt, and especially today of Eileen Hartland, as we anticipate her service later on. So, Lord, we do pray for uh, Rachel and the family. And Lord, we do pray that through your Holy Spirit that service will go well. It will be a fitting farewell to Eileen. And also that each and every one of us there will have a refreshed sense of the hope and promise of of Jesus Christ's resurrection. But Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and have sent the spirit of your son into our hearts, whereby we call you Father. 
Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that we and all creation may be brought to the glorious liberty of the children of God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as Jesus himself has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So the Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good to have you with me. I hope you have a good day and see you soon.